am the owner of the blog Sparkle with Kim. And this is my first beauty video on my channel. As you saw, guys probably already saw, George and I, my husband, have already done two vlogs for you guys. And we're very excited. We actually just decided one day to just go ahead and give it a try. I've been wanting to do some beauty videos for a while already because I do post on my blog regularly. But I decided to go ahead and just give the whole YouTube thing a try because I feel like I could have more of a connection with you guys and I could show you guys things that I can on my blog post. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys like this video. It's my first video so I was a little bit nervous. So I just want to let you guys know that if you subscribe, you'll go ahead and get more notifications of, you know, any vlogs that George and I do, which we're doing. We're trying to do right now at least one vlog a week. And the reason is because, you know, we just do it on the weekends and we've been seeing that we actually really do like it and it's fun to document, you know, little bits and pieces of our lives and to share it with you guys. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you guys this video. It's all about my lashes and uh, my tips and tricks on how to achieve your best lashes. So I really hope you guys like this video and if you do, just give it a thumbs up. And I'm also taking suggestions if you guys want to give me any suggestions on what videos you guys would like to see. I'm open to that so please let me know and I'm excited and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so these are my eyelashes without any mascara or anything at all, my natural lashes. Um, my lashes are, I would say, pretty long. However, they get to, they tend to get tangled and kind of go like this. It's just weird. They're all over the place. So, um, as I mentioned in my everyday makeup routine, I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascara. I've been using that for a while now. I probably, I would say, a couple of years already. Um, I used to curl my lashes back in the day, but I don't anymore. And the reason why is because I feel that it damages your lashes. So I don't like to curl them. If you do, that's great, but I just don't like to do it and I haven't been doing it. So what I've noticed lately with the CoverGirl Lash Blast is that it really wasn't, it was, it's good. It's a good mascara for every day, like I mentioned in my everyday makeup routine, but whenever I would go out at night or wanted a more glammed up look, I felt that it wouldn't, really wouldn't give me the volume that I wanted. So I kind of went to, you know, on a search for a, a drugstore mascara, because I love drugstore mascaras. I think they're really great. So on one of my trips to Target, with George, um, of course I went by the makeup aisle and I started looking around and I came across this mascara that I've used before and I absolutely loved it and I don't know why I stopped using it but I'm glad I came across it again and the awesome thing is that now it has a primer for my lashes. I've never used a primer before so I had no idea, you know, I've read about it, I know what it was for but I didn't know how I it would be on my lashes. So the mascara that I'm loving now and this is a combo that I could basically say is like my everyday holy grail mascara for especially for drugstores so the mascara that i'm talking about is the voluminous carbon black from l'oreal and this is what it looks like and then the awesome thing about um they've had this mascara in black and i think and you know other colors but this is a carbon black that's the one that i always go for because it's like the blackest black and it's really really great and it said literally says carbon black on it so you can't miss it and then the great thing is that L'Oreal this year took out actually a primer. I've never seen a drugstore primer. I've seen other type of primers, but never a drugstore one. So I was very excited to try it out. And, you know, I was like, great, I like the mascara. Why not try the primer? Just to give it a try and see how it works for my lashes. So I went ahead and I did that about, I would say, three weeks now. I've been using it with the primer. I knew I really liked the mascara from when I used it before, but I was like, okay, let me go ahead and give it a try with the primer because I kind of like to try products before I test it and review it and get, um, give you guys my opinions on it. So this is a primer. It comes in a white uh, you know, casing and it's the same thing, voluminous primer. And it is white inside as well. So I kind of wanted to give you guys tips and tricks on how to achieve your best lashes. And I'm gonna use these two today. So, cause it's what I'm currently loving. So what I wanted to show you guys was kind of like my first step and tell you what a primer does. What a primer does basically is give you length and volume to your lashes. And I can say truly that this is life changing. If you've never tried a primer before, by all means go and get one because it's literally life changing. It adds so much volume and length to my lashes and it gives me the natural curl, which I love. And it does give it to me way more than just the mascara alone. For some reason, this little thing is amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go ahead and apply this and the steps that I do and my little tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the years with my lashes but I feel that these tips and tricks can work for any type of lashes because I know everybody's lashes are different so yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm going to show you how I uh, apply the primer first and the mascara okay so I'm going to go ahead and start with my first step and this is what I do before the mascara 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'll take the primer. I always like to wipe off the edge of it and it is white. So I'm going to go ahead and what I do is I start from the root and go wiggle the wand all the way to the tip of my eyelashes. So I, and I always start from the outside in. So I go ahead and I wiggle the wand all the way and make sure that every lash gets coated. And sometimes what I do is I also close my eye. It looks a little weird and we all do funny mascara faces, but that's fine. I just wiggle the wand and make sure that it gets coated all the way. And closing my eye, what I've seen um, is that it kind of helps give it that natural curl as well. And the primer I've seen also helps kind of like smooth out my eyelashes since I told you guys that they get a little bit tangled. So it helps to smooth it out. So I kind of do, a, you know, make sure they're all coated and I do it on both. And I'm telling you guys, this makes a huge difference. Okay. So I kind of do two or three coats depending how much I need. Um, you know, you kind of just play by ear and see how, you know, how much you guys want to use. But as you can see already, my lashes have that volume. And it's kind of hard to tell because they're white right now. And it's a little funny, but... It's already giving me the shape and preparing my lashes for the mascara. So what I do, and the most important part of this, is letting it dry. Why? Because if you let it dry, it'll go ahead and get tacky and get thick. And that's going to let the mascara stick to it. So that's the most important step. I wait about 30 seconds to just go ahead and let them dry and, you know, let it get tacky. Because if you don't let it dry, what I've seen is that it kind of all blends together and just kind of like, you know, just defeats the purpose of having the primer. So just let them dry for about 30 seconds. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and just get the mascara. I always wipe off the edge just because it kind of, you know, I don't want to have too much on there. And then what I start doing now is the same thing. From the root all the way to the tip, I wiggle the wand and making sure that all my lashes are coated. I don't go crazy with making sure that it's coated all the way because I do have dark lashes already, but let's say you have lighter color lashes or blonder lashes, make sure you're really picky with kind of, you know, making sure they're all coated with black. So I kind of just wiggle, wiggle all the way to the top and make sure that all the lashes are coated. And as you can see, it's already giving me that volume that I want. I don't mind clumpy lashes, so by all means, you can build it up as much as you want. I don't mind the clumpiness, like I said, so I'll just go ahead and just coat it a couple of times. And then I'll go to the other one and do the same thing. From the root all the way to the tip of my lashes. And like I said, everybody's lashes are different and they're shaped differently. So just, you know, kind of play by ear and see what works for your lashes. And you can instantly tell the difference. I'm telling you, the primer is life-changing. So go and get one if you haven't already and give it a try. You'll love it, trust me. So as you can see, it's already giving me that volume that I want. And it's giving me a natural lift as well, you know, for instead of curling them. So I don't like to curl them like I mentioned. So this is doing that for me and lets me skip that step altogether, which is amazing. Like I said, I like to just pile it on there. And by all means, if you want, you could go ahead and mix mascaras. Every mascara has a different formula. So maybe you have another favorite one or you want to use this one and mix it with another one. That's perfect by all means. Just go ahead and do that. Whatever is more convenient for you and whatever you're loving at the moment. The main thing I would say is just having that primer. And what I love about the carbon black specifically is that it's so pigmented, you could tell that it's automatically black. Now for my bottom lashes, what I like to do is I naturally have long bottom lashes. So, you know, I don't really have to put the primer, but I love long lashes. So I don't mind them looking extra long. So I'm going to definitely put the primer there on as well. And the same concept, just wiggling it and covering every lash hair. And then do your funny mascara face. 
I don't know why I can't. I could never close my mouth. Especially for the bottom ones. When I get to the inner corner, I like to kind of use a tip, which is another reason why I like to like clean it off. I don't know, it looks so crazy when it was white. I kind of freaked out when I first did it because it was white, but... Thank God it doesn't stay like that. So the same thing, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit, um, making sure that it gets tacky to hold on to the actual mascara. Okay, now the same thing, just wiggle it all the way down. And just be more careful just because the bottom lashes, you know, you don't want to make sure you don't get any lash, any mascara on your, on your face. And then you can tell the difference already of, you know, the one without it and the one with it. And then I go to the other one. see that the letting the primer dry gives it that tackiness and like makes them stiff and makes them stay in place which I love but you'll see that whenever you touch it and after you know you've spent a couple of hours it's still like soft to the touch so it's not like you they're super stiff or hard or uncomfortable which is what I love about it and for being a drugstore primer amazing And by all means, feel free to retouch your eyelashes. I always do. I always take, like, I, I would say the longest to do my eyelashes just because, you know, some days they just don't want to work with you. And some days they do. So I found that the primer helps with that. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys now how my eyelashes look. Um, and I really love this primer. This primer is really, really good. And as you can tell, my eyelashes are definitely, you know, very different compared to if you look at my everyday makeup routine post my eyelashes are totally different they're longer they have more volume they look thicker i love it it's amazing okay so as you can tell the primer and mascara are phenomenal together it's an amazing duo that l'oreal took out and i'm obsessed with it i'm using it every day and as you can tell my lashes are really really long full and or it's giving me that curl that I want and that I like and it's just really really lightweight I don't feel like I have too much going on in my lashes so I'm obsessed with it I highly suggest you guys give it a try and if you do let me know and comment below and I really hope you guys like this video it's my first beauty video here on my channel I'm very excited and if you subscribe you'll go ahead and get notifications of whenever I go ahead and make a new video so please, please, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And let me know if you have any questions or comments below. And I'll have more details and more pictures on my blog. So make sure to check that out as well. Thank you. Bye, guys.